It's Christmas time and time for Carol. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas, bitches. Welcome back to another episode of Bourbon Bender. Today is day number 19 of the Bourbon Advent Calendar Review from Drinks by the Dram. I'm really excited to see what they have to offer today. We are closing in on the final day of the advent. We've only six bourbons left, so hopefully they save the best for last. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and break into this guy. Ooh, Eagle Rare. 10 year old Eagle Rare. So the Eagle Rare 10 year old is a obviously 10 year old aged bourbon whiskey from the Buffalo Trace Distillery. Originally invented by Charles Beam at Seagram's, but now is a product of Buffalo Trace Distilling. Much like the other brands that Buffalo Trace has on display, like George Stagg, Buffalo Trace, Pappy Van Winkle, and all these others, I believe Sazerac Rye as well, uh, Eagle Rare is one of those very well-known, well-respected bourbon whiskeys on the market. It, uh, I want to say it goes for about $50 to $60 a bottle. And I have had it before, but it's been a while, so this will kind of be like a new taste for me to check it out and really kind of give my honest review of it. So I guess I might as well crack it open, you know, tis the season, so. Every last drop of that. You bastards. Ah, that smells good. Um, so you're getting a lot of almost like cheesy, oaky notes off of it. You ever smelled like the um, the rind on like a Romano cheese, like the wax that they use to cover it up to preserve it? Or is it just mold? Yeah. It kind of smells like that a little bit. Don't really get a whole lot else off of it. No real vanilla bean is present. You do taste a little bit of vanilla. It does have a little bit of like a, um, almost like a pungent flavor, but like not like to the point where it's like a bad pungent flavor, but it's very much present. But other than that, it's really smooth. It doesn't burn a whole lot. Uh, it feels good going down. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's very smooth. I can see this being like a, you know, real easy, like slow sipper bourbon. Like you don't want to be like crushing these. I can still feel like the residual heat in my chest, like even now after just taking a few small sips of it. So very good. Not quite as good as the uh, Stag Junior that I tried earlier uh, in this earlier in this series, but. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, but still very good. It's very different. Uh, but that's a good thing because I would be really bothered if they just put out a ton of different products and they were all essentially the same. So this is good because it has its own unique flavor profile. Uh, really different than anything else I've tried during this review series. Um, with the exception of maybe the Yellowstone, that was probably the most unique I've ever had but this is pretty good too, so. Yeah, I gotta say, it is one of the more reasonably priced products from Buffalo Trace. It runs about $40 a bottle, depending on where you're shopping. Um, and I don't know, there is a 17 year version that I haven't had that I don't know if I've ever seen in stores before, but the 10 year is reasonably available. <clears throat> is reasonably available depending on your region. So if you guys are interested in kind of a hot, uh, unique tasting whiskey, I guess I would recommend you check this guy out. It's not prohibitively expensive or anything like that. So, you know, it's worth looking into just to add it to your collection. Plus it's a Buffalo Trace product, so you know it's gonna be top quality, whatever you get. Yeah. It's a good one. 
Well, anyway, that concludes day number 19 of the Advent Calendar Review series. We've only got five more days before Christmas. Um, Christmas Eve will mark the last bourbon out of this box, so I'll be excited to see what they save for the absolute last. But this is kind of like the beginning of an upward trend from where we left off yesterday. I'm hoping that they keep setting us up with like some really nice bourbons as we close out this advent. And uh, I guess we just have to wait and see if that hope comes true or not. So in the meantime, let me know down in the comments below if you've ever had this bourbon, what you think of it, or what bourbons you think are going to come out tomorrow, and we'll see if you're right. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your night, be safe out there, traveling, seeing your loved ones, whatever you want to do. And uh, once you get to your final destination, have a couple of sips of bourbon, and you'll be right as rain. So, have a good night. Adios.